Hello and welcome to Shareability Uganda, our online class. Uh, in our lesson video today, we shall be looking at energy resources in the environment. Uh, we shall be seeing the different, the different ways how we can get energy from different sources around us, uh, from the available, <coughs> the available features in the environment that can provide us with energy and how we can use them to get that type of energy and how can we use that energy to achieve our desires as human beings uh, energy energy resources are resources which provide useful energy to man mm, and a resource is anything in the environment which man uses to satisfy his needs Our examples of energy resources include uh, water sun wind fossils animals plants uh, uranium and other types of uh, minerals. Uh, types of energy resources are basically two. We have renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable energy resources are those energy resources which can be replaced naturally once they are used up. Where uh, They include uh, sun, wind, running water, plants, animals, uh, among others. Whereas non-renewable energy resources uh, resources which cannot be replaced by nature once they are used up. They include fossils, uranium for fuels, among others. Uh, energy resources from the sun, uh, the water, the resources that we can get from the sun. Uh, the sun is the main source of energy in our solar system and uh, the sun produces solar energy which is used to produce electricity. It produces heat and light energy. It also provi provides with us solar energy. Light energy is used by plants to make food through the process of pro photosynthesis that we know better. Uh, heat from the sun is also used to dry harvested crops, clothes, and etc. We can use heat from the sun in different forms. Uh, light energy is used by the skin to make vitamin D. Uh, remember that uh, that morning sunshine between seven, 7 and 8 a.m. Uh, it is used by the skin to, to, to get or to obtain vitamin D. Light energy enables us to see during the time and heat from the sun helps us in rain formation. Remember when heat hits the uh, body, water bodies like the lake, uh, evaporation occurs and then water rises in form of water vapor into the sky which later forms rain that comes back to us uh, energy resources from water we get hydroelectricity from running water for example the hydropower plant at uh, Owen Falls Dam in Ginger it is this is very common at waterfalls uh, the water force of water turns turbines connected to generators which help which help to produce hydroelectricity there is also hydroelectricity used from tidal power at the cost of oceans and seas. Steam is also used to drive turbines and steam engines. Steam is used to cook food, uh, mainly in the in those in countries that experience winter. They normally, or oh, in Europe, around Europe, they normally use steam to cook food. Uh, tide is a regular rise and fall in the level of the sea caused by the pool of the moon and the sun. Tidal energy is used to, is used to produce electricity. Uh, energy resources from fossils. Fossils are remains of plants and animals buried underground. Fossil fuels that are uh, fossil fuels are fuels that are burnt to produce energy. Examples of fossil fuels include crude oil, uh, like petroleum, that petroleum you see from petrol stations, then coal and then natural gas. Fossil fuels like crude oil and coal are used in the production of thermal electricity. Then we can look at natural gas. Uh, this is mined from areas where petroleum is found. The gas is mainly used for lighting and heating. It can be used for cooking and running power stations. Then coal. Coal is a hard black material found below the ground. It is a solid fossil formed from the remains of living things. Coal can be burnt to supply heat in 
power stations. It has some dangers which include they lead to pollution of the environment, they are non-biodegradable, and the biofuels bio are harmful to human beings and other living organisms. Uh, energy resources from plants, uh, we get wood, wood fuel, biogas, food, and ETC. Then there is a summarized table here of different energy sources uh, from the different states of matter, liquid, solid, and gas. You can pause the video and go through the table very well. Then we can look at biofuels, which are made from plant wastes and animal wastes. Examples of biofuels, in, biofuels include bioethanol and biodiesel. Bioethanol is a liquid that is made from sugarcane through the process of fermentation. Maize can also be used to make bioethanol. It can be it can also be used as a fuel in vehicles and other types of engines. Biodiesel, however, is a fuel made from vegetable oils or animal fat. Then wood fuel is the energy from wood. Uh, we get firewood, charcoal, and sawdust. They are used in the production of heat and light. For example, in uh, in those large large engines that large, the large factories that la that that have large engines to run their manufacturing equipment, they use sawdust uh, to run engines and also charcoal from wood. Uh, conservation of wood, conservation of wood means using we using wood sparingly without wasting it. Wood conservation means its management and sustainable use. Wood supply can be conserved by afforestation, reforestation and agroforestry. Uh, wood conservation can be done through using energy saving stoves. These use little fuel materials like charcoal and firewood. Like at home there are those, those charcoal stoves that are made with a small shell hole that, <coughs> that contains only a few amount of charcoal. They also keep heat for a very long time and they use sawdust and coffee husks. They can be very good at sparing charcoal and uh, in the long run conserve wood fuel. Then food from plant energy. Uh, the plants manufacture starch through photosynthesis. The starch is eaten by animals to gain energy. The feeding relationship in living things is called a food chain. Uh, for example, how living things get energy plants are uh, grasshopper. A man eats a grasshopper and then when the man defecates, uh, that manure uh, helps to fertilize to fertilize the grass which which is eaten by animals to get energy. That is what they call a food chain. Uh, then we have what we call the biogas. We get biogas from leftovers and wastes from the food we eat. Animal wastes can also be used to get biogas. The wastes and plant remains from which we get biogas include banana peelings, potato peelings, cow dung, chicken wastes, pig wastes, etc. Uh, the process through which biogas is made in includes procedures like Number one, biogas is made from a special gas called methane gas. The methane gas is produced in an airtight hole called a biogas digester. The waste in the digester ferment and, and decompose with the aid of bacteria. The bacteria do not use oxygen do not use oxygen and therefore use a type of respiration which is known as anaerobic respiration. The decomposition that occurs in the digester is also called anaerobic decomposition where the biogas is collected in a biogas tube and taken out for use. It has an inlet valve used for powering in new plant and animal matter. Uh, the liquid residue that remains after the collection of biogas is called the affluent and the solid is called the sludge. Biogas is used for cooking and lighting and it also it is also used to provide heat which enables to warm us this is the structure of how a biogas digester looks like uh, you can pause the video and look at it critically uh, 
Then we have energy resources we get from animals. Animals get energy by feeding on plants, as we said in the in the food chain, how the food chain occurs. Then energy from animals can become available to people in the following ways. Uh, when we eat animals as food, <coughs> they release energy stored in their muscles. Animals are used to perform tasks like transport and pulling off loads. Animal wastes can be used to produce biogas like we discussed in the previous slides. Energy resources from wind. Uh, air is used in respiration to support life and burning. Uh, carbon dioxide is used to put off fire. Uh, it is also a raw material for photosynthesis. As we know photosynthesis, the process of making food in plants. The energy of air is used to drive out vapor from clothes to make them dry. And also wind is wind energy enables boats and doors to sail in water. Wind is also used to run windmills. Uh, it is also used to power water pumps. Uh, this is a structure of a windmill uh, run by, by, by energy, by wind energy. This is a windmill and that is how it works. It continues rotating its blades as it produces electrical energy. Uh, Importances of energy resources. Radiant heat from the sun keeps the earth warm. Uh, use of renewable energy resources like wind conserves the environment. People earn income by setting up biogas technologies. Plants mm -hmm. are a source of, of food to people. The increased production rate we, when machines are used. Electricity produces heat and light which is used for domestic use. Uh, among others, you can pause the video and go through all of them. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Until the end, may God bless you.